Hey guys, today we're gonna to show you how to use the plugin Trade for your Mindhut server. Ooh, got some diamond hands there, Michael. You know, these hands, they steady, they firm, and you know what? They never give up. Never surrender. Ape never surrender. strong together. <laughs> Trent, get, get out of your paper hands, Trent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, sorry, hands. what did, you were saying? Did you see how he sold Trent coin? He sold his I Trent did. coin. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unforgivable. What's, what, what are we doing today on the market? So we are trading with each other. I've installed the plugin trade. And this one's very, very simple. All you gotta do is do slash trade and then the name of the player you wanna trade with. I just sent you a trade request. Uh, uh, I do see that. And then I do accept it using slash trade car course. All right, so cool. I want to give you a diamond sword. What are you going to give me okay. for it? Um, I will give you six diamonds. Oh, okay, that sounds great. So now you have to press the green block to accept mm -hmm. it. I accept. Um, yeah, I did that. Traded, is it traded? I clicked here did to it accept work? the trade. Do I need to exit out? I don't know. It did work. It oh, it worked. Oh, oh my diamonds. <laughs> 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 but you see, you want to know why I took the sword? Why? No, I know why! <laughs> I can have the sword and the diamonds too! Ah, <laughs> uh, she got away. Uh, okay, so now you trade with me. Okay, so slash trade. Um, All right, so I'm going to do slash trade with Erickson. All right, so, this um, time I am gonna offer you a whole block of iron. Uh, ooh, do you want a wither rose for it? Heck yeah, I want a with a rose. Okay. Looks like traded, traded. I accept. Traded. So what does this I go have, for on the market? I have the iron block. Uh, You know what? We make the market. <laughs> right, you are. Ape make market together. Yep, so um, in the in the config file, you can actually change a lot of stuff. So the base settings are, you have to be within five blocks of each other but you can make it so you can be within like a hundred blocks. So you can just trade with mm -hmm. people across town if you so choose. Like, you... so you can set it up. So instead of just like, like hand to hand trading, it's like wiring. Yeah. Oh yeah. You could wire money <laughs> to each other. But wait, can you make it so that a trade can only be completed in like three to five business days? Uh, yes, actually you can put a time limit on it. No way. That's you so can. Cool. <laughs> so if you have a default of 20,000 milliseconds, I know it measures in milliseconds, but uh, that'll translate to 20 seconds. Obviously, uh, Wait, that's the default. At least it doesn't measure in. At least it doesn't measure in ticks. Yeah, that is confusing, right? I don't want to do math in my Minecraft. But uh, yeah, you can set a time limit. You can set it so it auto closes the block radius. There's a bunch of stuff you can do to switch sure. it up. And and I mean, depending on the server you're running, there's so many uses for this. Particularly if you're doing some sort of like. Like I could even imagine where you're running a faction server, but like you have the option to like send delegates to trade. Like you could actually get yeah. some like really intense role play that way. That's the trade plugin. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Pretty straightforward to me. Uh, and I can see just how yep. useful it is. I, and for all of you guys that are using it, be sure, let us know in the comments uh, what you guys are using it for. I'd love to hear. Yeah, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe as well.